Thank you. It's great to be back. Uh, I just got back from Alaska. I was there for three days and six nights. <laughs> I stayed at the one season. And it was so cold in Alaska, I saw a dog wearing a cat. And I don't know about you, I hate being cold. I can't wait for global warming <laughs> and hot flashes, because I like, I like being hot. I, I like to sweat, actually, but I don't like to exercise. So I like a hundred degree weather or a sauna or a really good audit. <laughs> yeah, so while I was in Alaska, they took me to the zoo. And I love the animals at the zoo. My favorite, I love the, um, the little chimpanzees. Those are my favorite at the zoo. And my least favorite are the, um, oh, uh, with the little heads, um, the kids. <laughs> no, I know, I know a lot of you have kids in the car. Um, <laughs> I want to be a mother. I've, I've been called one. I, I, um, if I ever have children, I'm going to breastfeed them. Yeah, because I don't know how to cook. <laughs> I cook once a year. I cook on um, Thanksgiving, and everybody is very thankful. It's just once a year. Um, last year, I made a 26-pound turkey pot pie. I know. <laughs> That was so hard to stuff <laughs> into my George Foreman grill. I, I um, was going to use my Easy Bake, but I had run out of light bulbs. So. <laughs> my mom is a great cook. Yeah, I love my mom. We're really close genetically. And I got my sense of humor from my mother. And that's why she doesn't have one anymore. <laughs> She must be funny because she played the drums at my wedding. Yeah, and that's not even a joke. Yeah, my mom is also a ventriloquist. Not professionally, just around the house and stuff. She would throw her voice. So for like two years, I thought the cat was asking me to kill my father. I got my brother to do it. My grandmother's a great cook, too. My grandmother's in Florida, of course, for spring break. <laughs> Guess she's a little early for next year. She's always been ahead of her time, my grandmother. Like, um, she used to put the phone in her purse. Um, it was a rotary phone, and she had to yank it out of the wall, but she was on the right track. And lithium. And, and my grandmother... <laughs> My grandmother always says that the secret to a successful marriage is don't go to sleep angry. And she's been awake since 1937. <laughs> My husband's angry. My husband is so cute. Like, he's so cute. I'm sure some woman is going to steal him from me, so I make him wear the club. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but he's so angry at me right now because he wanted one of these big flat screen TVs for his birthday, but I just moved his chair closer to the one we already have. <laughs> he's angry. Whenever I get angry, I do yoga. Yeah, because my friend Carl said when you do yoga, you could reach like a higher level of consciousness. <laughs> I'm like, it's so much easier just to drink. <laughs> Don't drink and drive, though, right? And don't text and drive, right? I shouldn't even drive and drive. <laughs> I got into an accident with one of these houses um, on a truck, on a truck. They, they were moving a house. I'm looking at it going, are these people too lazy to pack? Because it was a house. It was coming at me. I'm, like, freaking out. I'm flashing my brights, beeping my horn. Nobody was home. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I pulled into the garage <laughs> called AAA and Century 21. Thank you very much. <laughs>